Well, greetings, people of the internet. Unky Joe here, Unky Joe's Playhouse. Excuse the mess behind me. I'm always a work in progress, as you know. Today, um, you know, I'm the king of cheap, right? I have that reputation. So today, this video is all about fixing something that is broken and has been bugging me for a long time. So uh, buckle up and we'll get the video started here. So if you've been paying attention any in the past three to four years, you'll know there's been a lack of availability of good quality video cards. And those that you can get have either been through mining operations that are worn out or they're so phenomenally high priced that, you know, you can't afford to buy them. Now, I've got quite a few older, I never throw away video cards. I've got a quite a few older GTX uh uh, 640 cards or GT 640 cards, but I had a GTX 950 NVIDIA card made by um, Gigabyte, and it's uh, the Windmere card or whatever the heck they call it, Windforce. And uh, a few years ago, if you watch my channel on a regular basis, I had to replace a couple of fans on it because they went bad, and I could not get the three-pin uh, replacement fans for this unit. Well, I could, but it would have come on a slow boat from China and it would have taken months to get here. So I, I bought some four pin fans and modified them, kind of jerry rigged it so I could plug at least the fans into the motherboard header, fan header, get power for the fans. Now that meant I couldn't use the fan connector on the, on the video card itself and, and monitor that, that activity, you know, the temp or the, the fan speed. So here recently, um, those fans started to fail and started to make noise. And these, this this uh, video card is in my uh, WinRaid server, so it's kind of a critical unit. And I didn't, you know, I've done some moving of stuff around again on my in my network, and I wanted to put that machine in a certain location, but I didn't want to put it there until after that video card was fixed. So. On a lark, I got on uh, the uh, Amazons and did some bleep blop blooping with the digital keyboard thingy here that communicates with the rest of the world. And I managed to find a uh, somebody on Amazon who is selling the three pin fan headers for that GTX 950 video card. It's kind of an odd bird, uh, the fans on it. Um, so I ordered it. I think they were $12, $15. I ordered it. They came in. You're going to see me replacing them here in a few minutes and and much to my chagrin or my surprise they even came with a gigabyte uh, logos on them so that's really cool so let's go over to the bench and you'll see what i had to do to get this card uh, up up and running and back on its feet again
one thing you need to know about this card is the last time I fixed it, I never took off the heat sink and replaced the thermal compound uh, on the, between the heat sink and the GPU. So I wanted to make sure I did that this time. And as it turns out, it's a good thing I did because it was the only way to get the cable with my big fat sausage fingers to plug back into the uh, video card board. So we got the thermal compound replaced. I cleaned it up really well. Well, I cleaned up the heat sink, put it back on new thermal compound and the fans. And I can uh, safely say to you or report to you that it's working fine. Now, I could have easily thrown that video card out or put it on eBay, but that video card is still capable of doing H.265 video encoding, so it's still a valid card for me, for what I use it for to this day. And it'll even do some entry to mid-level gaming, so that card, somebody uh, somebody wants to be in the show. Hey, hey, Manny May, are you a superstar? Anyway, she, she jumped into the scene, so there's that. Uh, so uh, keep keep those old video cards. They still have relevance today. And uh, even though it's in an older machine, you, you got to keep in mind the CPUs today have not gotten much faster. They've just added more cores to them. And uh, they've sped up the PCI bus, of course, and the video cards have gotten faster and have more RAM. But older machines are just like older guys like me are still relevant and can be very useful. Now you got to be careful because they can consume more power than the newer stuff, which is more power efficient. But you know, if you're not running the machine 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, there's no reason uh, a third gen Intel with a, a GTX 950 still can't be a relevant machine today. And being the king of cheap, you know, that, that, uh, I never throw anything away, and I like to repair what I have. Plus, it's fun. It gives the old, gets the old dexterity back in the fingers, and I get to put on the eye goggles back there, my googly eye goggles, and do some real bench work. So uh, that was fun. So there you go. We hope you found the video entertaining and informative. As always, please give a give a thumbs up down below if you liked the video. Leave your comments down in the comments section. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. It really helps with the YouTube algorithms. Donate if you're so inclined. We accept PayPal or Patreon and the uh, YouTube join function. Uh, or if you're a YouTube premium subscriber, consider yourself uh, donating uh, to that. I recommend that highly because we do get a little piece of that uh, money from, uh, from the YouTube. Uh, did I say Google? I meant YouTube premium. So uh, any of those are a great way to support this channel. And we do appreciate each and every one of you and your support over all these years. I'll consider, I'll continue to make content uh, until I draw my last breath, probably, because I really do enjoy making YouTube videos. Uh, go to unkyjoesplayhouse.com uh, and our social media links are on there. Our link is in the about section as well. And uh, meet us over on our Discord server. We get over there in, in the general chat, and we have lots of fun over there as well. So thanks for coming to see us. Come back and see us again, and don't forget, we'll see all of you on the other side.